I'm back. I'll be reading some more. I'll be reading some more from the Bible, and I am using the reading plan from the Daily Audio Bible app, and I will be reading for February three, twenty twenty one. 2021. And I'm and I am reading Exodus chapter 17 verse 8 to Exodus chapter 19 verse 15. Verse 15. Exodus chapter 17. Exodus chapter 17 verse 8. Verse 8. The A-M-A-L-E-K-I-T-E-S defeated. The A-M-A-L-E-K-I-T-E-S came and attacked the Israelites at R-E-P-H-I-D-I-M. Moses said to Joshua, Choose some of our men and go out to fight the to fight the A-M-A-L-E-K-I-T-E-S tomorrow. I will stand on top of the hill with the staff of God in my hands. In my hands. So Joshua fought the A-M-A-L-E-K-I-T-E-S as Moses had ordered. And, Mo and Moses, and Moses, Aaron, and H-U-R went to the top of the hill. As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning, but whenever he lowered his hands, his hands, the A M A L E K I T E S were winning. When Moses, when Moses' hands grew tired, they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. Aaron and H U R held his, held his hands up, one, one on one side, one on the other, so that his hands remain, remain steady. Till son says, so Joshua overcame the A M A L E K I T I T E army with the sword. With the sword, then the Lord said to Moses, "Write this on a scroll as something to be remembered, and make sure that Joshua hears it, because I will, I will completely blot out the name of A M A L E K." From under heaven, Moses built an altar, and called, and called it, and called it, "The Lord is my banner." He said, "Because hands, because hands, whoa, 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 lifted up against, against the throne of the Lord. The Lord will be at war against the, against the A M A L E K I T E S from generation to generation." Jethro visits Moses, Exodus chapter 18. Now Jethro, the priest of M-I-D-I-A-N and father-in-law of Moses, heard, heard of everything God had done for Moses and for his people Israel, and how the Lord had, and how the Lord had, had brought Israel out of Egypt. After, uh, after Moses had, 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 Sent away his wife, his wife, C I P P O R A H, his father in law Jethro, received her and her two sons. One son was named G E R S H O M, for Moses said, I have become, I have become a, a, a foreigner in a foreign land, and the other was named E L I E Z E R, for he said, my father's God was my, was my helper. He saved me from the sword of Pharaoh. Jethro, Moses' father, Moses' father-in-law, together with Moses' sons and, and wife, came to, came to him in the wilderness where he was, where he was camped. Now the mountain of God, Jethro, has sent word to, to him. I, your father-in-law Jethro, am coming to you with your wife and her two sons. So Moses went out to meet his father-in-law and bowed down and kissed him. They greeted each other and, th and then went into the tent. Moses told, it, told his father-in-law about, about everything the Lord had done to Pharaoh 
and the Egyptians for Israel's sake and about all the all the hardships they they had met along the way and how the Lord had saved them had saved them. Jethro was delighted to hear of to hear about all the good things the Lord had done had done for Israel in rescuing them from the hand of the of the Egyptians. He said, Praise be to the to the Lord who rescued you from the hand of the Egyptians and of Pharaoh and who rescued the people from the hand of, of the Egyptians. Now I know that the that the Lord is greater than all than all other gods than all other gods than all other gods. For we did this to those who had treated Israel arrogantly. Then Jethro, Moses' father in law, brought a burnt offering and other sacrifices to God, and Aaron came with all the, the elders of Israel to eat a meal with Moses' father in, in, law, in, law, in, in law in the presence of God. The next day, Moses took his seat to serve as judge for the people and the and they stood around him from morning to evening. When his father-in-law saw all that Moses was doing for the people, he said, What is this you are, you are doing for the people? Why do you, Elon, sit as judge while you all? The, these people stand, stand around you from morning to evening. To evening. Moses answered him, Because... The people come, come, come to 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 me to see God God's will. Whenever they have a dispute, it is brought to me, and I decide between the parties and inform them of God's decrees and instructions. And instructions. Moses' father-in-law replied, "What you are doing is." Not good, you and and the these people who come to you to you will on, will only wear yourselves out. The work is too heavy for you. You cannot handle it alone. Listen now to to me, and I will and I will give you some advice. And may and may God be with 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 you. You 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 must be. The people's representative before God and bring their disputes to Him. Teach them His degrees and instructions, and show them the way they are to live and how and how they are to to behave. But select capable men from all the people, men who men who fear God, trustworthy men who hate dishonest gain, and appoint them as officials over thousands. Over thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens, have them serve as judges for the for the people at all time, at all times. But have them, but but, but have them bring every difficult case to you. The simple cases they they can decide themselves. That will that will make your load lighter because they will. They will share it with you. If you do this and God if you do this and and God so command so commands you will be able to stand the strain and all these people will will go home satisfied. Moses listened to his father in law and did everything he said. He chose capable men from all Israel and made them leaders of the of the people, of the people, officials over thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens, they serve as judges for the people at all times. The difficult cases they brought to Moses, but the but the simple ones they decided the, themselves. That Moses sent his, his father-in-law on his way, and Jethro returned to his own country. his own country. (laughs) 
just well. People such as such as such as just well and M E L C H I Z E D E K E K. Not Israel, not Israel, not Israelites, but but nevertheless worshippers of the true God play an important role in the Old Testament. They were minders、uh, of God's commitment to the word God chose one nation, one nation, one nation through through which to walk by His love and concern, all for all nations. Jethro's Jethro's religious background prepared prepared him for rather than rather than prevented him from responding in faith to God when he saw and heard. What God had done for the Israelites, He worshipped God wholeheartedly. We can guess that for that for forty years, as Moses' father-in-law Jethro had been had been watching God at work molding a leader, Moses and Jethro's relationship must have been must have must have been must have been close. But Moses readily accepted. His father-in-law's advice. Each benefited from knowing the 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 other. Jethro met God through Moses, and Moses received received hospitality, his wife, his wife, and wisdom from Jethro. The greatest gift one per one person can give another is an introduction to God. But that gift is hindered if the believer's attitude is. I have, I have, the greatest, I have the 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 greatest gift to 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 pass on to you, while you have have nothing to give to give me and wait on. We are friends. Give to, give to, we are friends. Give to and 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 receive and receive from each other. The importance of introducing a friend to God. Does not make does not make the friend's gift to us to us to us insignificant. Rather, the believer is doubly blessed first by receiving the gifts. The first by receiving the gifts. The first by receiving the gifts. The friend wishes to 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 give them by. Then by growing, then by growing in knowledge of the Lord, for we discover that in that in introducing another person to God, we increase our own awareness of God. As we give God away, He gives He gives Himself Himself even more to us. Is all you know about God a miscellaneous? Collection of trivia, or do you have a a living relationship with him? Only with a only with a only with a vital vital relationship can you can you pass on to 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 others the 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 excitement the excitement of、uh, of allowing God God to guide your life. Have you have you reached? The point of saying with Jethro, I know that the the Lord is greater than all other gods. Exodus chapters eighteen verse eleven. Strengths and accomplishments. As father-in-law to Moses, he came to recognize the one true God. He was. He was. A practical troubleshooter and organizer, lessons from his life, supervision and administration, and administration, and administration, or team efforts. God's plan includes all nations. Vital statistics: where the land of M I D I A N and the desert of Sinai occupations shepherd. Shepherd, priest, relatives, daughter, Z I P P O R A H, son-in-law, Moses, Moses, son, H O B A B, key verse, Jethro was delighted to hear about all the all the good things 
the Lord had done for Israel in rescuing them from the from the hand of the other Egyptians. Exodus chapter 18 verse 9. Joshua's story is told in, in Exodus in Exodus chapter 2 verse 15 to Exodus chapter 3 verse 1. Exodus chapter 18 verses 1 to 27. He is also mentioned in, in Judges chapter 1 verse 16. Israel at Sinai, chapter 19, verse 1 to chapter 40, verse 38. After escaping through the Red Sea, the Hebrews traveled through the wilderness and arrived at Sinai, God's holy mountain. There they received the Ten Commandments as well as instructions for building a tabernacle as a center of worship. Through, through Israel's experiences at Mount Sinai, we learn about the, the importance of obedience in, in our relationship with God. His laws, his laws help, help, help expose sin and they get, and they get standards for righteous living. For righteous living. Giving the law at Mount Sinai. Exodus chapter 19. On the first day of the third month, after the Israelites left Egypt, on that very day they came to the desert of Sinai. After they set out from R E P H I D I M, they entered the desert of Sinai, and Israel camped there, camped there, in the desert in front of the mountain. Then Moses went up to God, and the Lord called to him from the mountain and said, "This is what you are to say to the descendants of Jacob." And what, and what, and what you are to tell the people of Israel, you, you, you yourselves have seen what I did to Egypt and how. Hey. hey. Giving the law at Mount Sinai, Exodus chapter 19. On the first day of the third month, after the Israelites left Egypt, on that very day they came to the desert of Sinai. After they set out from R-E-P-H-I-D-I-M, they entered the desert of Sinai, and Israel camped there 
in the desert in front of the other. Uh, in front of the other. Uh, of the mountain, the Moses went up to God, and the Lord uh, and the Lord called to him from the mountain and said, This is what you are to say to the descendants of Jacob, and what you are to tell the people of Israel. You yourselves have seen what I did to Egypt, and how I carried you on eagle's wings and brought you to myself. Now, if you, if you obey me fully and keep my covenant, then out and out of all, of all nations you will be my treasured possession. Although the whole earth is mine, you you will be you will be for me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words you are to speak to the to the Israelites. So Moses went back and summoned the elders of the people and said before them all the all the words the Lord had commanded him to speak. The people all responded together. We will do, we will do everything the Lord has said. So Moses, so Moses brought the answer back to the Lord. The Lord said to Moses, I am going to come to you in a dense cloud so that the, the people will hear me, will hear me speaking with you and will, and will always put their trust in you. The Moses told, the Moses told, the, the Lord what the people had said, had said. And the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today. And tomorrow have them wash their clothes. Have them wash their clothes. And be ready by the third day, because on that, that, that day the Lord will come, will come down on Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. Put limits. For the for the people around the mountain, and tell them, and tell them, and tell them, be careful that you that you do do not approach the mountain or touch the foot of it. Whoever touches the mountain is to be put to is to be put to death. They are they are to be stoned or shot. With their words, not a hand is to is to be laid on them. No person. All animals shall be shall be permitted to live only when the wind's horn sounds a long blast. May they approach the mountain. After Moses had gone down the mountain to the people, he consecrated them, and they washed their clothes. Then he said to the people, "Prepare yourselves for the for the for the third day. Abstain from sexual relations." Abstain from sexual relations. Matthew chapter chapter twenty-two, verse thirty-four to Matthew chapter twenty-three, verse twelve. Matthew chapter twenty-two. Matthew chapter chapter twenty two verse thirty four verse thirty four Religious well, leaders question Jesus about the greatest commandment Mark chapter twelve verses twenty eight to thirty four Hearing that Jesus had silenced the Pharisees, the Pharisees got together one of one of them an expert in the law tested him with this question, teacher, which is the 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 which is the 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 greatest commandment? And the Lord Jesus replied, "Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all and with all your soul and 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 with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it: love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the." And the, and the prophets hang on these, hang on these two commandments. Religious leaders cannot answer Jesus' question. Mark chapter 12, verses 35 
to 37, Luke chapter 20, verses 41 to 44. When the Pharisees, why are the, why are the, why are the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, what do you, 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 what do you, you think about the Messiah, whose son is he, the son, the son of David, they replied, he said to them, how is it then? That David, speaking by the Spirit, calls him, calls him Lord. For he says, the Lord said, Two, two, my Lord, sit at, sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. If then, if then David calls him Lord, how can, how can he be his son? No one could say, could say a word in reply. And from that, and from that, that. Day on, no one dared to ask him any more questions. Any more questions. Jesus warns against the religious leaders. Mark chapter 12, verses 38 to 40. Luke chapter 20, verses 45 to 47. Matthew chapter 23. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his dis and to his disciples, the teachers of the law and the, and the Pharisees sit, sit in Moses' seat. So you must be careful to do everything they they tell you, but do not but do not do what they do, for they do for they do not practice what they preach. They tie they tie up. Heavy, cumbersome loads, and put them, and put them, uh, on other people's shoulders. But they themselves are not willing to lift, to lift a finger to move them. Everything, everything they do, they do is done for people to see. They make their, they make their, p h y l a c t e r i i e s white, and the tassels. On the garments long, they love the place of, of honor at banquets and the, and the most important seats in the synagogues. They love to be greeted with respect in the, in the marketplaces and to be called rabbi by others. But you are not to be, to be called rabbi, for you have one, te one teacher, and you are, and you are. Oh, brothers, and do not call, call anyone on earth father, for you have one father, and he is in heaven. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant, for those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted will be exalted. Psalms chapter 27 verses 7 to 14. Psalm chapter 27. Wait for the Lord. 
be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. And wait for the Lord. Proverbs chapter 6, verses 27 to 35. Proverbs chapter 6. Proverbs chapter 6, verses, verses 27 to 35. Yeah, yeah. To 35. Yeah, yeah. Can a man scoop fire into his lap without his clothes being born? Can a man walk on hot coals without his feet being scorched? So is he, so is he, who, who, who sleeps with, with another man's wife. No one who, who touches her will go unpunished. People, do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy his hunger when he is starving. Yet, yet if, yet if, he is caught, he must pay sevenfold, sevenfold, though it, though it costs him all the wealth of his house. But a man who, who commits a daughter will he has no sins. Whoever, 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 does so destroys himself, blows and disgrace all. His lot and his shame will never be wiped away. For jealousy arouses a husband's fury, and he will, and he will so, so, no mercy when he takes revenge. He will, he will not accept, accept, accept any. Any compensation he will he will refuse a bribe a bribe however great it is it is Okay that's all for now bye